Hey, welcome to Viva Tech Tips. Uh, today we're talking about frets. Yeah. Uh, so, just in case you didn't know, frets on the guitar, these segments along the neck, when you push your finger down, it shortens the length of the string effectively, changing the pitch on your guitar. But frets come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, and materials, and heights, and all that kind of stuff. And Gareth is gonna tell us all about it. I'm gonna try. He's gonna try. So, like you said, there's plenty of um, different types out there, plenty of different sizes. Um, most guitars are um, medium jumbo, okay? I know that's just a word, I and mean, you probably don't know what that means, but it's, it's all about the height of the fret, okay? So off, off the fretboard. Off the fretboard, yeah. yeah. So, that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a nutshell, okay, the higher and wider the fret, the uh, more space underneath or between the string and the fretboard, which lends to faster playing on the fretboard because it's, there's less pressure needed to push down. Some artists have taken this to the extreme and got jumbo frets, for example, the, big, the thickest fret or the tallest fret, and actually scalloped out the fretboard to make even more oh, of a gap. Big, there's grooves. Yeah, yeah, thing. scalloped out the fretboard yeah. to even make more of a gap so they can go even faster, like Malmsteen or, or Vi, for example, okay? But on the flip side, the shorter and thinner the frets, the uh, less space there is between the string and the fretboard, which makes playing chords and big chunky so it's playing. It's easier to push down? No, 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 not easier. Okay. Because when you're pushing down with big chords, you're, you're squeezing incredibly hard, aren't you? Yeah. And if you had a tall fret, if you, as you push down, it would bend out of tune. Right. Because if you push down hard enough on this, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Yeah, it. Maybe, maybe you can hear that. But on a, on a, you know, a thinner fret and a shorter fret, you can push down and not affect any intonation is the, is the correct word, the fancy word, yeah? So you actually have vintage frets on yours. I do, because this is a vintage um, guitar. But it's probably medium jumbo. Yeah. Um, we've got medium jumbo on the Fender ones behind you, on the strap there. Uh, for the, any, anything smaller than that, it's probably gonna be on a mandolin or banjo, to be honest, because guitars don't use them. So, main thing is, why should we worry about it? Well, it's, it's to lend your playing style and the feel. I mean, when I run my hand over this fretboard, I can really feel all the grooves as I run it, run it up and down the neck. Um, but I love how fast this feels right. when I play. Yeah, and I'm, I'm much more of a rhythm player myself, so yeah. I'm gonna want those lower frets for, yeah. for the chord playing. Yeah. What about materials though? Yeah. Do you, know, do you know anything about the materials? Yeah, there's like, there's like two main types, isn't there? Yeah. You get like, what is it, steel? Stainless steel. Stainless steel and gold? No, nickel oh. silver. Oh, well, nickel we silver. have to say nickel silver, but it has like the smallest amount of silver in it ever. It's mainly nickel. Um, yeah, most old guitars are made out of nickel, probably because that one's the 60s. That's probably nickel. So be careful because nickel wears out quite fast. But actual nickel. Yeah, nickel right. silver, yeah. Gotcha. Um, so that's it really. There's a lot of debate online about whether nickel frets are better than steel frets. Um, steel, I, I was really like, nah. No, nah, no way. Doesn't matter. But I actually watched a few videos online and they had it back to back, literally the same guitar, just a different neck. And there was a very slight difference. I mean, Steel brought in a very high frequency that might bother a, a tone snob or two, but I don't see it mattering in the real world in a full band. Like anything, it comes down to personal preference, yeah. isn't it? But personally though, I mean, Steel frets do wear out eventually, but nickel wears out a lot faster and it's a, it's quite a costly thing to do to get a, to get your guitar refretted. Yeah. So I would uh, I would go with steel frets because it doesn't bother me too much about that higher frequency, and I get more for my money. Well, speaking of wearing out frets, we've got a special guitar just next to you, haven't we? This mega one. Do you this, know, this what, go on then. Go on. What's this about? So they these these frets have been cryogenically frozen to minus three hundred degrees Fahrenheit. I think you'll find that that's colder than the surface of Saturn. I think you're right. Mm. I think it is. And, and that's, to, um, that's to make sure they don't wear out quite as much. I think yeah. they, they, they Gibson did, did a test. They did a test, didn't they? They did a test and it lasted four times longer than your standard steel. Yeah, they did like 200 billion, billion <laughs> like, string bends or something. And don't quote us on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not an actual number. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but they did these string bends on it and these ones 
far outlasted your your normal um, stainless steel frets. Yeah. So, so if, if you hate getting your, your frets replaced, cryogenically freeze. Cryogenically freeze them in your basement. And yeah. Like you do. As you do. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, that's that's everything that we've got to say about frets, yeah. I think today. Yeah. So if you're looking for a faster kind of playing style, get those get those jumbo. If you're you know looking for a bit more rhythm, get, go to medium or even even lower. That's it, really. Lovely, and don't yeah. forget to cry gently, freeze your frets. Of course. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks very much, guys. Um, we will catch you next time on Viva, Te Viva Tech Tips. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that bell icon for all our latest videos, and we will see you next time. See you later. Thank you.